What up, Heart Squad? Today we're opening Sky Ridge Booster Packs in search of the Crystal Charizard Pokemon card. A card I have not even pulled yet, but I have been trying throughout the years. But today, I'm feeling in fuego because I think a luck is gonna be on our side. So I need you to do this right now. Lend me your energy. Hopefully I'm not like sweating in the armpits or anything. Lend me your energy. Raise your hands, everybody. Unless you're driving, don't do that. But then you technically shouldn't be watching my video right now. But if you are, pull over, then raise your hands. Spirit energy. All right, I think we're good. Now, before we get into the first pack, because we're not just opening up the following. Yep, Sky Ridge, beautifulness. I also have the original set that started it all. Base set booster packs from Japan. Yes, these are incredibly rare, but this guy's crazy. But before, before, before we even get to those packs, I have a box. Inside this box are vintage Pokemon items that are going to be at my pop shop. And I did an update on my pop shop uh, a few days ago. You should go watch that. But to get things moving, here are some, uh, one cool item. This is uh, not peeled off or anything, but this is an actual store decal that is going to be, I guess, like on the window of or on the shelf. This is usually what's like displayed on the outside. This specific one I think is from the early 2000s, maybe mid 2000s. It's just very nostalgic. So that's gonna be on there. What else do we got? We got these. Lots and lots of these. These are the original 57 toys from Burger King. Are these the ones that I think like children were like suffocating on? There's like a Pokeball on the inside and then on the inside it's like an action figure or something. Can you believe it? They actually spent money to make 57 items. That's insane. You're lucky to even get like 10 these days. But these are still sealed. So I don't even know what's on the inside of these, but they're gonna be there. What else do we got? We got these. And don't worry, I just wanted to showcase to y'all because this stuff, I haven't honestly even looked through this, even though I've had it for the shop. Uh, these are battle, battle figures, and these are more of what they actually come with. That's pretty cool. Nice. Very cool. Love the artwork. You're cool. These are very awesome. Look at that. It's a, <laughs> it's the Vivid Voltage Chunkachu in Meowth with it's the Coliseum of Comics price tag for $15.95. Get your action figure from Hasbro. And here are the back of the box. Now I have one that I actually like even more as much as I love Pikachu. He can't beat this combo. Togepi and Jiggly for $15.95. Come on down to the Coliseum of Comics. Okay, so we're almost done. I have Ash. This is awesome. It's the original Ash Ketchum figure with a really, really nice Chunkachu Pokeball that's transparent. And there's some of the other ones that you can get. I don't know. These are all still sealed. I mean, these are going to be on the shelf. It's going to be amazing. And then this. Marbles. I lost me marbles. And this is still sealed. And look at that. I love, love, love how they have it not only popping out, but it's like colorful and shiny. And then, lose your marbles, get all the marbles from Toy Biz. So there's that. Oh, I have one more. Oh, it's Jesse and James, everybody. But this one's in Japanese. Very, very cool. There's the top, they're pointing at all of us. <laughs> That's who they're trying to get. So there we go. I thought that would be cool to showcase those. You want more updates on the pop-up shop? You know where to go. Front page of my channel as always. Without further ado, I think it's time to not just get started with the opening. Let's open up some Sky Ridge. And I have to say, this is probably the second rarest set of all time behind first edition base set. 
and uh, even more than Shadowless Base set. This set is uh, the final set that Wizards of the Coast made in 2003. Three was used with the e-reader, everybody's favorite peripheral from the Game Boy Advance. And yes, it has multiple crystal Pokemon that are in this set. The packs! And I will be opening up four! Yes, am I crazy? And these are all from my personal collection, everybody. I'm a crazy man, but I love it. These are all the pack arts. I wanted to showcase all the pack arts. So, bird is the word. Kabutops! Vape and Vaporeon and Polly. So, let's get into the first one of the day. My favorite pack art from Skyridge once again. Actually, I haven't even mentioned it. If you can, please consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you like vintage and rare Pokemon card openings. And last but not least, leave a like. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes. I appreciate the support as always, Heart Squad. Nine additional cards. And I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Why does thou do this to me? Alrighty then, it has been opened. Uh, two cards, not three cards, and away we go. Starting off with a fastball. That's Randy Johnson's favorite card. Mystery Plate. Now, that is a lot to read on a card, and I don't have time. No, I'm kidding. You can pause the video if you want. Yes! Best card. The opening's over, everybody. Thank you. Natu, how do you do? Beautiful card. Wow! A buried fossil. I haven't seen this card in who knows how long. Very cool. Next up is a Stantler. And then we have a Machop. Did you do that, you, you pesky old Pokemon? And then we have a Starmie holographic card! Oh, that is beautiful! That is gorgeous! But wait, there is more behind! Is a Ghastly reverse holographic. Not too bad, not too bad. There's a Ghastly. An Alakazam rare! Oh, I love these packs. That's creepy, by the way. I love these packs. Let's put that in the sleeve. Alakazam. Here is the beautiful Starmie with perfect centering. And no white. Oh my. I'll have to take a closer look at this guy after the opening, but let's put this in a sleeve immediately. Holographic Starmie has been pulled. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic way to start this opening. Let's continue with the OG set. Not the reprint, base set. Not guaranteed a holographic in every single pack. Wait, that's, okay, that's the back. I was trying to make sure, because I think if there would be a rare or holographic, it would be the first card in the set. Could be different for base set, but in any case, here we go. You know the cards I want. Charizard, that's basically it. Pikachu, War Turtle, Staryu. Pidgey, Arcanine, Caterpie, a Whirlwind, Uncommon, did I, I didn't pass the rare, did I? No, here it is! It's an Alakazam holographic! Look at that! We got a Swirl and a Pokeball on the holofoil of the card! Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Centering looks perfect. And we are good on the back. So a Alakazam has been pulled from a base set booster pack. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What shall we move on to next? How about this? It's our lone Team Rocket pack of the day. You know the cards you want to pull from this. Squirtle, Squirtle, and a Squirtle. That would be nice. So let's do, and maybe a Charizard would be cool. So, three cards, and away we go. It's a Dark Charmeleonaire, The Boss's Way, Dark Machoke, Ponyta, Magnemite, Meowth, Attack, Coughing, 
Red attack. Man, we didn't get a Squirtle. Oh well. And a dark wheezing non-holographic. Sometimes the hollow part you can't really see on it, but there we go. Nicely centered. So, you know, probably the worst card that you can possibly get from it, but it's okay. We got more Sky Ridge. Jim Heroes. Lieutenant Surge looking snide. Blaine's Moldress. Still have not pulled yet. Sabrina's Gengar we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, on a video, of course. Think the card trick is for... It's been changing on me. Like, he, even Erica's Weeping Bell is, like, creeped out because we just don't know it. Misty's Wrath. Brock's Training Method. Energy. Voltor. Zubat. Sabrina's Gaze. Brock's Rhyhorn. Erica's Bell Sprouts. Blaine's Tauros. And... Rox, Golem, non-holographic. You can't win them all. You just can't win them all. What do we got next? Uh, you know what? I was almost going to do a Sky Ridge, but then I wanted to grab this goldiness, loveliness of Fossil. This is, uh, yeah, this is the back. So the hollow. The, now you are guaranteed a hollow in the Fossil packs. Hopefully, it's... Uh, we've been pulling Gengar a lot, Haunter, and even the Mew, which are basically my favorite cards from Fossil. Still want to pull the Dragonite. So, let's see what we can do. Slow. Trainer. Shelled. Crabs. Ekans. Zubat. And we have reached the rare. Is... A Zapdos! Beautiful, beautiful Zapdos holographic. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. There may be a, like a scratch or something on it right there. I don't know. That may just be the card. So, beautiful card. Holographic from Fossil. So, I'll put that over yonder. And what do we got next? Guys, let me your energy! I don't think I'm sweating still. We are opening up the next pack. A Vaporeon. Sky Ridge Booster. I can't believe I'm opening these, but these are this is my favorite set of all time. It's not just because of the Charizard. It's honestly because this is the final set that Wizards ever made. Obviously, I love the box. I love the artwork. It's the artwork of the cards. I mean, the pack art. It's the artwork and the illustrations of the cards, which are just absolutely phenomenal. And that's why I love showcasing this set to everybody, is it really is, and not just this set, uh, all of the e-reader sets like Expedition and Aquapolis are absolutely magical sets that really, really would, you know, we just gotta appreciate these beautifulness of these cards. Noctowl! Very nice, he's investigating. Underground Expedition, you can't fool me, ditto, with that face. Nidoran Female, love the artwork for this one. Very bright. Saturation on this card is, is really high. <laughs> There's a, there's a them polywag eyes. Woo, hi everybody. All right, seriousness. This is like a, it's like a two to three thousand dollar pack here, each of these. Uh, Voltorb is pissed. He's in a saloon, I guess. Maybe he's in a movie. And Toys R Us giraffe. All right, if there would be a crystal, it would potentially be next. No, it would not. Unless that's just how it is. Delibird Express. And the rare is a Flareon. Excuse me. That is just a reverse holographic rare. That's great. Absolutely great. And Zatu is also a rare. All right. So I guess we just didn't even get a hollow in that one. But we did get a very, very nice Flareon. Centering's a little off from left to right. Otherwise, in great shape. No factory lines from a, just an initial scan. So, Flareon has been pulled. And we still have two more Sky Ridge packs to go. But it's time to... I mean, <laughs> these are pretty rare as well. Uh, original base... Look at this artwork. Charizard has one horn, by the way. That's just how he is. All right. Let's see what we can do in this one. These are just randomly ones. These are not weighed, so... I'm hoping we can continue the streak of holos. Hey, it's Starmie, everybody! Yeah! Drowsy. Farfetched. Weedle. Nidoran male. 
Dratini, AOL Mail from Bill, Polly, Uncommon Poke Flute. All right, it's time for a Hitmonchan. Yeah, look at that swirl, category five. That's beautiful. And a Pokeball, half of a Pokeball. That's a beautiful background of a card. So Hitmonchan has been pulled, centering looks like, it's nice on the back, uh, maybe. I don't know, maybe a little off from right to left. Look how sparkly that is. That's great. I'll take it. Uh, I'll really, really, I'll take it. All right. Base set has been done. Let's get into another Gym Heroes pack. Uh, Sabrina's Gengar is nice. Rocket Scyther is nice. I, I, I honestly just really want to pull a Blaine's Moltres. Can you, you know, maybe something like that would be nice. But I think we did the card trick right last time. So... Let's see if we can uh, get it right again. Misty Seeking. Brock's G Geodude. Erica's Weeping Bell. Energy. Tangula. Voltorb. Zubat. Sabrina. Rhyhorn. Bell Sprout. And a Charity. Yeah. Nice name there. Charity. Well, it's a non holographic trainer. But don't let that dissuade you because we have another fossil pack to open. Still hoping and dreaming for maybe just a Dragonite or an Articuno too. That would be pretty cool. Uh, here we go. Gently put that there and away we go. Mr. Fuji. Graveler. Golem. From Lord of the Rings. Gamble. Psyduck. Krabby. Horsey, Geodude, I think we're there, and a Kabutops, with equally a very nice background, look how sparkly that is, no swirls or Pokeballs, but I'll still take it, because it is very bright and vibrant, a little off from right to left on centering, better on the back, uh, but I'll take it, I'll take it, so a Kabutops, very nostalgic to see that hollow, wow, we are trekking, we have the following left. Two more Sky Ridge in a base set. How about that for an op- Like, this whole opening has just been upper tier. Uh, Kabutops, Hitmonchan, Flareon from Sky Ridge, Zapdos, Alakazam from base. A Hollow has been pulled from Sky Ridge in a creepy Alakazam. How about that? All right. Let's get into the next Sky Ridge pack. Holly. Hopefully... Uh, you know, maybe we need to just lend the energy just a little bit, you know, because, uh, last pack we didn't get a hollow. That's okay. Um, let's see what we can do. We got the Flareon, though. So, two cards. And away we go. The Miss. Mystery Plate. I have actually don't even remember this card. I like the other card that we pulled in the first pack. Was it the first pack? I think it was. Stantler. There he is, that pesky Machop. Uh, hopefully we don't get another Polly again. That was hilarious. Whoa, it's Sandshrew on Mars. Interesting. And a Lapras. Man, Lapras has been relegated to just being a common in Sky Ridge. Well, I'll take it. I love the artwork. And... Lettyba. Oh, that's a city in the background. Okay. It's like a desert or something, and that's like the mirage or something. Um, all right, here we go. A Gengar Reverse Rare. If it's gonna be a reverse, how about it be one of the best that you can pull a Gengar? And look at the birds in the background, that's beautiful. But wait, there's more. A another Flareon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Flareon. There it is. The reverse Gengar. Beautiful shape. Let's put this gently in a sleeve and in the pile. We'll take a quick look at the Flareon. Uh, centering looks nice on the front and back. Well, if you're a fan of Flareon, this really has been your opening. So, uh, congrats to y'all. We have... Two packs remaining. Let's go with base set again. See if we have we we pulled him on channel last pack. So let's see if we can come on. Come on, Zard, one of the big three. 
or basically just the hollow in general. Uh, is that energy removal? Pikachu! Yellow cheeks. Super Saiyan Potion. Ratata. Whoops. Sorry about that, Starmie. Dratini. Staryu. Coughing. Pokey Flute. Is this the rare? Oh, is it a trainer? It's a super energy removal, non holographic. Well, our luck ran out with that base set pack, but overall, some incredible hollows pulled. And here we are. This is it. Four Skyridge packs will have been open in one open. Who does that, man? I really am crazy, but I just love opening up cards for y'all. Uh, here's the box again. And if you can, you want more Skyridge, leave a like. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes, everybody. Wish us luck with the final Skyridge pack opened. Two cards. Wait, did I do the card tricker? Whoa! So much mystery! Whoa! A mystery zone uncommon card. Interesting. Next up. <laughs> Electrode. Having a terrible day, it seems. Nidoran. Wow, just like the Gengar. With the bird statues in the background. See, these are awesome. And he looks sad. Call for family. Next up. Yanma with the bird lines in the background. And Murkrow! Yeah! Common card. Next up is Creepy, creepy Sunkern, but it does have a waterfall in the background if you're into that sort of thing. And a star you Well, I don't know if there's a crystal anymore, but there could be a miracle sphere! Not cylinder, but a sphere. Is the reverse. And a Wigglytuff rare! Alright! And there it is. The final rare from Skyridge. We'll put that in the sleeve. Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed this. You want more vintage openings? I did a bunch this week. There are videos right over here. My name is Lean Art. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.